next, how good is this? A matchup for the UFC welterweight division title. Hey guys, this is Chip Jojo today. We're showing the Hulkamore Championship with my Bruce Lee, Willis is Jr. I hope you guys will like it. Well, a long winning streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. And in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? Our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but the same reach. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, presenting the challenger, Hercules. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to go in open hands at all times, protect yourself at all times. You want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? Two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. A big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice right hand, John. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's oh, a little go. single collar tie there. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Oh, 
He has a commitment to kick it tonight and show. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Right hook to the body. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Three minutes in our opening round. Try to establish that jab. And they separate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Got the single collar tie. It's such a fast leg kick. Able to check that kick as well. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, straight right. Nice leg kick land. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Nice punch lands over the top. And he landed the right hand there. Way to hide that leg kick. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can route. Goes back to that left kick once again. Blocks the shot. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Guard lands the right hand. Nice entry. He's gonna finish the record. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Lee. Fighters back to their feet here. And they separate. Whiffs on that offering. And that one certainly found the target. Spinning back fist. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Great punch landing with so much power. And both guys really throwing with authority. from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets underway. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, 
Mike does score. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Big kick lands. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Right under the elbow. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge. Oh, and that kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize that he's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, straight right. Oh! Jeez Louise. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh! Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more with that game. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Good jab. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. All right, single taller time now. Trying to kick the leg out. What a body kick. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. He's right there. He could be in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the out. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. Fight's done. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Oh, big diving punch is good. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Under a minute now to go round two. Good work from the top here by Lee. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hit the escape. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you. got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. And that's the end of round number two. Take a deep breath and relax. Watch him look to the finish this round. 
have to put the pressure on this guy. Move forward behind head movement. Keep your jab nice and long. Follow up with power shots. Combination. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice straight punch. Oh, significant strike. Opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Look at those weapons. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. He's got him hurt here. Oh, he might be out. Well, just as he did in the previous round continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Let's get some offense. Let's get going. Big kick lands. Oh, I, that, I'd probably dislocate my hip. Look at that roundhouse. I mean, he can get that kick off in any direction. If you're not careful, if he throws that kick to the body too many times, and you start guessing body, he will take it up high and in your night. Well, you gotta think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking play. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Big kick lands. Kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh! Serve him up. Go get him. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, that one appeared to start him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Let's finish this fight. He went high on that one. Came with inches right now. Right there, the second blow of the fight. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great place to come out of the game. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Big shot land. Oh, got him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Oh, that's... You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. 
That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. Effective punch there. Oh, look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. We've trained for this before. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Okay, fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about this championship round. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back off of that stool. And this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues. And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Big little kick lands under the elbow. Nice leg kick. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Caught the kick. And they separate. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big punch land. Boom. Plus right hand is true. Look at the turnover in that kick. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Real sneaky body. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Came of inches right there. Boy. It was a good night if that landed. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh! oh what a sweep! Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Can't take many of those. You better check. Get right here! result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout and that's about as good a one strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming so a big big win for him here tonight. Well we'll take a look back at the highlights you know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliani has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 21 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and steal. Legend Bruce.
Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. And more often than not, he has had an answer for all styles. Bruce Lee, with authority, is your winner here tonight.